So today we're going to talk about living in your RV during a heat wave or, you know, a massive heat, hot summer, and to be able to do this without living in a cave. You know, you don't want to uh, make your RV a giant cave where it's not pretty, you know, you, you got to put those uh, aluminum things on your windows. I, I get it, they, they do work and they do work really well, but I want to be able to open my shades and take a look out the window and enjoy my RV and camping experience without feeling like I'm living in a cave. And that's what this is about. It's, you know, being able to do this, you know, BLM lands, uh, boondocking, and have a cool RV in the middle of the summer without living in a cave. So the way I see to do this is really there's, there's many options out there. There's those little, um, air conditioners that you see that run off a of battery and they're 24 or 12 volt but you know they they do use a lot less power they're they're pretty decent on the power but they are expensive they're like two thousand dollars for these little tiny air conditioners or a thousand dollars for this little tiny thing um i think the cheapest i've seen was actually 1500 but they still require a lot of battery and they don't produce a lot of air, a cold air anyway. So if you have a you know medium sized RV, you're not gonna be able to cool it with that, even though you're spending fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars on that little tiny air conditioner type thing. And plus you gotta plumb it out. You gotta plumb the tubes out, they're not as efficient. So that's not, you know, a good AC for cooling, you know, a mid sized R V. Even a small R V. Mine mine's only eighteen feet long. And so it's like in the mid size to small size RV size. And that's just not a good fit for cooling, you know, your RV and not feeling like you're in a cave. So what I suggest is, and this is if you're gonna do BLM style camping, you know, boondocking, is to get a 280 amp hour battery and Eco Worthy makes a great battery that is cheap for what it is anyway. You know, they're like 500 bucks. For a 280 amp hour battery and to do this type of you know camping and lifestyle of living you need a you know like a 300 amp hour battery so the 280 amp hour is a good fit for that and of course you need some solar on the roof now you can go 500 watts like i did or you can go 800 you know something like that 900 watts and get a bigger mppt charge controller i went with a 40 amp MPPT charge controller from Renogy. Uh, EcoWorthy makes a good one too. But I went with that side so I can put 500 watts of solar on the roof. I probably could have gone a little bigger, but it seems pretty good. You know, I, I do run out of uh, power after a few days of uh, having the air conditioner running, but you know, that's fine. I, I can just run a generator for a couple hours and it'll recharge the batteries back up and then I can run the cycle again. So in my case, you know, every three days I turn on the generator and that's if I'm running the air conditioner constantly. So if you're not running it constantly, you can probably only need the generator maybe every, uh, you know, 20 days or something. So it wouldn't take a lot. And what I mean by not running it all the time is if you do, you know, excursions or things outside and then you run your air conditioner for a couple of hours for lunch and then you turn everything off and then you come back to go to sleep at night and you turn the AC on at 5 or 6 p.m. so you can cool the RV off and have a night, you know, good night's sleep. So that's what I mean by that. And doing that, you can probably get about 20 days without having to have an external, like a generator to charge your system back up. Now, another cool thing, and I think this is awesome, is because the system is so scaled down, you know, 280 amp hour battery, I use a Victron IP22 charger and it only uses 385 watts of power. So my generator to recharge the battery is only this big. It's teeny tiny. It's a thousand watts of continuous power, 1500 watts of peak power, but I don't need it. I can, I can just turn on the generator and I can actually run my air conditioner and recharge the battery at the same time because these window inverter air conditioners, 
they don't take any power. They, you know, they suck about maybe 600 watts of power at the beginning. And then once your RV cools down to a certain level, it uh, maybe takes 300 watts or 200 watts of power to, you know, help continuously cool your RV. So that's why I like, uh, you know, this kind of setup. Now, I know I'm talking about a window air conditioner. And, oh, and by the way, it is uh, East Coast. We are in a giant heat wave. It's 96 degrees outside right now. So it is boiling hot. And when I mean 96 degrees, I mean with humidity. So it is super hot outside. And that window air conditioner just hums away. It's, it's quiet. Oh, that's another thing. They're quiet. So that's why I love about that thing. Anyway, let me get back on subject. So this window inverter air conditioner that I have is a 6,000 BTU. So it'll, it'll cool probably up to 25 foot RV. And 6,000 BTU means it's going to keep low cost, you know, of, of wattage being used. Now, this does mean that you need to install this. So when you think of cost, this inverter air conditioner costs about maybe 300 bucks. Let's say 300 bucks is roughly what you're going to pay for it. You, instead of paying 1500 bucks to buy this, you know, weird air conditioner thing that's not going to cool a 20 foot RV, you can pay 300 bucks for that and then hire someone, you know, unless you want to do it yourself, which I did it myself. It wasn't that bad. Uh, installation and the entire process I think took maybe six hours of time, maybe five or six. So it wasn't a big process, but it is still a pretty big process to make this thing. So, you know, five, six hours, you can hire someone. You know, hire someone uh, that, you know, has skills to do this type of uh, construction, you know, cutting with the saws all and stuff. And, you know, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks or 60 bucks an hour. Um, you want to pay someone that knows what they're doing, you know, not just someone that doesn't know what they're doing and just give them the outline and you can see my other video to see the how to install this you know inverter air conditioner in the wall unit but like I said you can pay someone 50 bucks an hour and 250 bucks of installation cost and you can have an inverter air conditioner in your RV that is quiet now when I mean quiet it's running right now and you can't hear it it's humming away. There's just no noise from it. It's, I mean, it's a slight noise, but it's like a whisper. And instead of having your old roof air conditioner or something like that, that's sucking tons of wattage and screaming with the noise, um, I can sleep with this thing on and it's just quiet. So that's another reason why I love this thing. So this is a, just a video to tell you how to get through heat waves, you know, and be able to do it on BLM land and things like that where you don't have to spend a ton of money and you can do this and still have you know nice comforts like air conditioning without putting a ton of money out there on it and like I said 300 bucks for that oh it's the the air conditioner brand is the LG dual inverter air conditioner and again they're they're not sponsoring me to say this I just think it's a great air conditioner and it's the only 6000 BTU inverter air conditioner that I've seen on the market right now. So it's just a great air conditioner and it just runs, you know, keeps running. So love it. So uh, that's it, you know, help you get out of the heat wave and without dying out there, you know, burning up and, you know, try not to turn your RV into a cave. That's my main idea is, you know, I know you can put those steel aluminum things on there and it It'll hold the heat out a little bit better, but when you're living out there, I don't want you to feel like you're in a cave. And this is a really good way to do it where you can have good air conditioning and not live in a cave. So enjoy life and we'll see you next episode.